It's a different perspective on the Australian landscape. Four Indonesian artists have just spent a month in the top end, interpreting the people and the places. Their visit continues a long-running tradition of artist camps in the Northern Territory. It's hoped the art they've produced during their stay will foster a greater understanding between the two countries. Alison Middleton reports. <laughs> Indonesia is a culturally and artistically rich country and there is a spiritual component to the art that still intrigues me. Art and spirituality are the simple ways for the expression of my life and culture. These Balinese artists have travelled to Darwin seeking fresh inspiration for their work. For the last month, they've been immersed in the Northern Territory's top end. The artists benefit by being taken out of their own cultural traditions into a new landscape and seeing it and being given the opportunity to interpret it, to respond to it. I hope Bali artists can get my inspiration from Northern Territory. The men have travelled to remote parts of the Territory, but it's not just the landscape that's caught their eye. We enjoyed the time with uh, Aboriginal people. Balinese people and Aboriginal people share an understanding of art and spirituality. The iconography of rock art and the first religious art of Bali are expressing common human themes about searching for meaning, uh, about spirituality, uh, ab about sometimes even very practical day-to-day -day matters. Cheers. Hey, uh, to Mr Ashley and these four X. <laughs> this artist's trip has been the dream of art collector and retired barrister Colin MacDonald QC. He helped to secure sponsorship to bring the artists to Australia and has hosted the men during their stay in Darwin. Their visit continues a tradition of artists' residencies in the Northern Territory. It's a visionary project that was started by the Museum and Art Gallery of the Northern Territory back in the late 70s to have artists come to the north of Australia, to the top end of Australia, and interpret landscape and culture. I think uh, by this trip, the relationship of Australia and Indonesia will be uh, better and closer. At a basic understanding of the process anyway. So At Charles Darwin University, the artists are learning new like skills, including day, lithograph then, printing. I mean, Sort of this is Made Buriana's third visit to the Northern Territory. He's a mentor for the three other artists who are here for the first time. It's hoped their work will encourage Territorians' interest in Indonesian art. I hope this artist camp opens the eyes to the great intellectual and uh, intuitive ability of Indonesian artists and stimulates them to go and explore art in Indonesia. The men's artwork is on display this month at Darwin's 24-hour art gallery. It's hoped the exhibition will then travel to Bali and Jakarta. There are plans to invite Indonesian artists to the top end every two years. Artists from Australia and other countries in turn have the chance to travel to Bali for similar residencies. Those involved in the program hope the exchange will promote greater understanding between the two countries. We all see the world differently, but we're all on a common journey. It's sometimes said Australia and Indonesia are strange neighbours. And in some ways we are, but this artist camp shows that in so many ways we're not, the journey is the same.